When my parents moved here to Barcelona, they were in Pamplona and they were in a club that had a lot of sports. And then they moved here and they looked for a place to be able to do a lot of sports. But the club that they signed in, they had only tennis courts. And then the president took the money and ran and it was tennis courts or tennis courts. So we started to play tennis and slowly we had some good coaching there and we started to compete and we all enjoyed the tennis and had the passion for to perform and, and uh, we just make the jump to the pros and we had great careers. When you are competing, normally you don't retire because the pro life is so rewarding that uh, you, don't, you don't retire yourself. So you set the standards and when you don't have those standards anymore, the young people pass you over and then you, you say, what I'm doing here? I don't have my level anymore. So, Normally it's not you that retires, it's that they retire you because they start to be better than you. So it's a very tough moment because uh, you are at a very young age and you have to stop do what you love to do. Some people go through it better. I, I was lucky enough to be involved in other projects. I ran an ATP event in the south of Spain and then I, I started to do the academy. So then I went from total focus in one thing to total focus in another thing so in, in some way you forget and you always involved in your in your love in your industry I started to play with head when I was 16 years old and we went through all my career together and uh, when I stopped playing I decided to found this academy and I had to stay by my side and they help us when the most difficult moments when we started and they help us with the rackets, with the balls and they help us also to make events and tournaments and it's been a great relation until today that is still helping me. <laughs> when I moved to the, to the States and I've been living there now for 10 years, my biggest goal is, was to go to the court. And then every day there I'm about three hours and a half on the court playing with the, with the kids and, and, and teaching them. So this last period has been much more rewarding in that sense because I'm, I'm able to, to share uh, the knowledge that I had when I was a player. My kids are... Uh, yeah, they, I don't know if they're lucky or they are unlucky. Eh, because <laughs> because we live in a uh, in a, in the facility we live let's say there in next next to the tennis court so when we moved to the states they took tennis very very serious but then the little one this year he decided to quit tennis <laughs> he was uh, tells everybody I quit tennis and he's a soccer player so he wants to be soccer so I think he's the smartest one so I think the important is in the during this development years that they do a lot of sports. Because sports bring you more to reality. You develop more the resilience to face adversity. And tennis, tennis is a very good sport for that because um, it's, 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 it's always a, a sport that you need to learn to lose. You have to adapt your mind to accept losing points, to accept struggling, to accept uh, adversity to be able to find the final goal which is compete and if you compete well at the end you may win maybe it's a very mental game and I think that 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 if you are putting in whatever you do in your life the same demand and energy that you put in tennis I think you're gonna be pretty successful in whatever you do in work on family friends or so I think tennis is a great university for life <laughs>